Good morning. Today is very cold outside and nobody is here in my gym. <laughs> I'm alone. I know due to the cold people are um, hesitating to come out so because of that they are skipping gym and um, I'm kinda I can't skip it. <laughs> That's why. So today I have to do many things. I'm gonna film this all and I will be um, going to one handicap fair so that's what uh, my plan is if it is not cancelled by uh, some other reason then definitely I will do that I will film it I will show it to you so I will do some uh, exercise today is my leg day and um, I will do exercise for legs and uh, specifically I do exercise for legs Monday uh, the other day chest and back so I don't do all exercise uh, 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 on the same day so today is uh, for legs so I'll do that and I'm planning to add off some other exercises too but today I'm not gonna do that I will do only those I do regularly many a time that I do apply uh, coconut oil before going for the hair wash and today I will do the same and um, one thing I want to say that um, one should not do hair wash every day this is not actually healthy thing for hair because we do wash our hair using chemicals and it may damage hair if you are not going out too much you can definitely give some gaps and then you can um, do the hair wash so what i do is i in general wash my hair twice in a week and sometimes thrice in a week so i think this is um, uh, this is perfect 
but if someone is going out a lot and traveling a lot i understand the need of washing the hair and uh, if you feel like that your hair is um, i mean dirty due to the traveling and all because i know uh, during the travel due to the outside dust and the pollution here to get uh, dirty so because of that we do need to wash our hair but we also need to maintain the hair health that's why we need to keep that in our mind that how i mean how frequently we should wash our hair so if you are not going out much then definitely twice a week the perfect and uh, if you think that your hair is getting dirty quickly then twice a week you can uh, go for and yes if you are traveling then uh, on the day of your travel if you have time even it's night you can wash your hair i do it if i think i need to do it and if you don't have time on the same day then definitely next day you can uh, wash your hair and uh, before washing your hair you should do the oiling because it can give you the good hair structure i have told you guys about the procedure previously too and today also i'm uh, giving you the same uh, details and i'm not gonna uh, give you more information about it because the previous talk i have already spoken to it and uh, Today I'm only giving you, uh, I mean, just to say, uh, an idea because I have discussed previously. Coconut oil. This winter, because of that, the oil is looking like this. So scalp is mandatory to apply the oil. If you have booked it all the season wise and uh, the uh, location wise, the thickness of oil does change. So you need to think about that too. If you need more, you can go with that. It depends upon the um, I mean, hair quality of yours and the much um, hair you have, the thickness and the length. It is not that how much I am applying should apply that. No, it's not like that. So, I am applying the much I know. First apply on the car stock and then the board. also I'm filming with my phone Samsung Galaxy M11 and yesterday I filmed it and I am uh, happy with the outcome so today also I'm filming with the phone and it's really good. I mean handy it's lightweight not like camera so comfortable
So uh, when I'm done with the boiling, I will comb my hair and then I will wait for 45 minutes to one hour. 45 minutes to 60 minutes and then I will wash my hair with the shampoo and then I will apply the uh, hair mask with the same shampoo I do use that is conditioner based and I will apply the hair mask and then I will apply the serum. I always prefer a L'Oreal professional so that is really once I uh, used I try to um, apply that and once you start to apply that you will be able to understand how different this shampoo has from uh, the other shampoos and really I'm comfortable with that that's why I'm applying it. If you are comfortable with some other brands you can definitely go with that. Today I'm wearing this black overcoat. It's from local market and inside it I have one woolen uh, dress that's also from a local market. The stocking is from Amazon and the shoe is also from Amazon. As I have to walk, I'm going to a fair. That's why I choose this shoe because it would be comfortable enough to walk and uh, because the road should be uneven i know that because of that and uh, with that the scarf is a woolen scarf this is also from local market and i also have a matching um, i mean cap that is covering my ear and that's also woolen matching means matching with the scarf that's also from the local market I wanted to keep my makeup as much simple as possible but I choose to keep my uh, lips red because my red can go well with the black outfit because my outfit is black and um, with that I th this lipstick is from uh, Revlon and the eyeliner is from Lakme and the eyeshadow is from M1. I have given all the link in the description box you can go and check there.
from the uh, handicap fair and uh, the fair is not uh, that uh, big there's no i mean entry fee you need to pay but the uh, uh, fair has some collections that is uh, definitely good and i have bought some neck pieces and uh, earrings uh, one is for me and one is for my sister and i'm gonna show it to you and um, there are some other things also over there like uh, handmade uh, bags and made uh, outfits was there i have even seen some western type of outfits also there the, those kind of outfits you might have seen in online stores but you might not be able to get offline because there are some specific online stores are making such kind of outfits and i've seen there are a few amount of those kind of uh, i mean uh, dresses over there this is a, a kind of western type and also saris that there they have a sari collection and also with the saris they also have blouse collection matching with the saris and if you want to buy blouse fees you can also buy that uh, it's like if you guys have been in a handicap fair in west bengal you've been seen those kind of things there so those things are there with that jewelry are there as i told you that i have bought jewelry so it was not uh, that big i mean easily the handicap fair we do visit is like um, huge uh, and uh, there are uh, different kinds of collections that they are like uh, bamboo collection and different kind of jewelries and the shell collections these kind of things uh, we do get but here there are few stalls are uh, all of them are from the local areas local areas when siliguri only the location was in sunrise club and uh, the area is also uh, very small but uh, this is a small try and uh, really appreciate it so i'm showing you the thing i have bought i have bought one beautiful beads jewelry for my neck and uh, the earring also that's also uh, made of uh, beads and for my sister i have uh, bought one curry there is a kind of uh, she shell uh, i will show you we call it curry and um, thread they have used uh, thread and curry and uh, that uh, chunk jewelry material oxide yeah that was that so let me show you that this is the neck piece i have bought for me multicolored beads are there and it was like there there there, there are no uh, matching earrings um, but i bought uh, earrings it's not matching but i can match it or i can match other earrings with it this is also made of beads I really liked it because I have seen uh, different kinds of beads necklace and this is uh, a bit unique from them that's why I was like stuck into it and I bought it. The earrings also. And for my sister I have bought this one. Curry curry this one is curry. These are the matching earrings. This actually said And this is made of oxide. These all are oxide. I'm trying this beautiful earring at home. Is made of beads and crystal these all are uh, crystals and uh, these all are beads so it's multicolor beads are there so i would love to wear these with a uh, uh, outfit which has plain fabric and uh, one color because as it is multicolor and every single color will be highlighted if i'm going with a plain fabric with one color and uh, i will see if uh, there are other fabrics can be tried or not if it is to be tried then i will definitely i will try those two 
but plain fabric is my first choice with this earring and also with the neck piece so let me try the neck piece for you this is the beautiful neck piece and i love what about this is the folk vibe it really has the folk vibe and the earring and the neck piece both beautiful even i want to wear these two separately with separate outfits i'm gonna try it several times and every time uh, i go to handicap fair i don't get disappointed because there are many unique things out there that's the reason i not only depends upon the brands but also with the locals because locals can give you some different vibe and uniqueness brands sometimes is not capable to do that so that is a very important point for me i always search for unique things and that is the reason every time i go to handicap fair i do pick something that is is like unique for me so this time this piece is really good and i have showed you i have also bought for my sister because i know what kind of jewelry she has and what can be unique for her so i have bought for her too and um, outside is freezing it is like crazy but still i when i heard about the fair i couldn't stop myself and went and um, now it's like i need some coffee <laughs> so um, i will end the vlog here and um, if you are staying in siliguri you can definitely go to the handicap fair or if you are anywhere in west bengal or india please visit if you know that there's some places a handicap fair is happening please visit because locals can give you different flavor it doesn't matter where you are posted or doesn't matter what you do you will be able to know many things their work and also you'll be able to know the uniqueness of each and every culture so that's the reason of uh, this kind of fair i'm very happy that previously there are one or two places only used to organize handicapped fair mostly i mean initiated by the government but now this fair is very small but it is initiated by the local people and a club organized so that is really interesting i want these kind of things more so uh, explore uh, to explore the things it would be helpful for uh, as uh, it would be helpful for the customers similarly it would be helpful for those who are uh, making these kind of uh, unique products so that is that i'm ending the vlog here and i will be definitely back with you guys with different kinds of things and also i am planning to make vlogs on other topics as i used to do before i'm thinking of bringing those back and um, if you have any query you can definitely ask me by commenting or dm i will give you the answer if i have the uh, answer okay 